everyone, my name is Emma and thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Summer Chapel Series video, Seeking God on Purpose. Um, so today, I'm actually going to touch on what it looks like to actively pursue God. Um, so you've heard in previous videos on ways in which you're seeking God on purpose, whether that's through submission, um, through spending time in the Word. Um, each of the previous videos have done a great job of explaining to you how it looks like to pursue God and God on purpose, and um, it's been great. But today, I'm actually going to speak about how we can actively pursue God in this age, especially when, you know, a lot of distractions are constantly present. So um, Romans 12, 2 reminds us that do not conform to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. So it warns us right from the get-go, do not conform to this age. So we know that this was a struggle and this was a sin that um, we obviously were going to um, toil with because it's written right there in the word. Um, so I don't know about you, but <laughs> I'm totally guilty of this, whether that's scrolling for hours through Instagram or just constantly loading my plate with super busy um, moments and super busy days. Um, <laughs> where instead of finding the time to be transformed, to discern the will of God, um, I am living for the world. Um, and so today I want this video to be about how are ways that we can actively pursue God with in the midst of all these distractions. So um, obviously you want to spend time in the word and you want to pray. This has been talked about in the past few videos. And obviously it's super important to our faith and super important to growing that relationship with God. Um, but I want to talk about those times when it's not so easy to do those. Um, and everyone falls short. Not everyone can be in constant state of prayer and constant state of in the word um, as much as we try to be in it as much as possible. So as college students and as people who are believers in Christ, how can we pursue it in another way? Um, so this is what's super nice and exciting about being a believer of Christ is that your journey with God is a transformative one, but also is one unique to you. Um, so who cares what someone next to you does to pursue God? Your individual journey is what's important and it's how you can have that individual relationship. So I'm gonna share a little bit about how I do it and how a few of my friends do it. And it's an encouragement to you to find what works for you. So for me to actively pursue God, I love journaling. So at the end of my day, I open my journal and it is my direct prayer, so to speak, to God. I write down my God moments where I saw him move in my life that day and ways I'm excited for him to move in the future and just thanking him for how transformative he's been in my life. Um, but that's a different for everyone. One of my friends runs, solely runs to worship music only, spends time listening to God, praying through her run and her activeness. Um, some people love going on prayer walks. Some people even just every time they do their dishes, they're reminded to reflect on God and actively pursue him. So it could be in the little things or the things you do every day. Um, but this is just an encouragement to you that we really should try to actively pursue him and not be conformed to the things that are so distracting in our world. Because while they might be pleasing now, um, God is our eternal savior and he is more bountiful if you spend your time with him. So thanks for listening and I hope you find something that actively helps you pursue God.